What's going on guys? Cream Bananas here. This video is a very special one. I wanted to, uh, I had a couple of uh, private messages and requests from you guys uh, asking to uh, do a tutorial on Kenway's fleet. Now, uh, as you notice, uh, I am in the captain's quarters on the Jackdaw, so I'm going to go ahead and access my fleet. And basically, you know, at the very beginning, there's no actual tutorial for this, so, you know, it's a little confusing. Uh, as you can see here, I'm receiving mission reports. Uh, and it's basically all of the uh, ships that I had sent out on missions before. So you'll see that they brought back some things, the things that I traded, what my reward was. And I'm going to go ahead and skip all of the reports because you don't need to see that. So uh, here is the first screen, uh, the first tab that you'll see. It's the fleet. Now initially you'll have I think one or two of these unlocked. And uh, once you can, st once you start adding ships to your fleet, you can start to just add this. And then uh, subsequently, if you need to add more docks, you can buy them with the gems. Uh, but don't be afraid to salvage a ship if you need more gems, because you you will in in inevitably run into a lot more ships down the road. Now, as you can see, I have three that's not unlocked still, so I'm saving that uh, primarily because I don't have enough gems. Uh, and as you can see, some of my fleet have damages. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, because I use a lot of these ships quite frequently, uh, let's go ahead and go to the end here. Uh, I have the Man of War, it's labeled there, Cargo Space, Speed, Firepower, don't let the little icons uh, scare you, you'll, you'll get a hang of what those are for. I'm going to go ahead and repair this ship, uh, it does cost some gems. So I'm going to go down the line of my fleet and just repair them because I'm going to show you what I have in store for them in just a second. Uh, let's see here, Conquistador. All right, so that should be good to, uh, as a starter. So now if you go to Naval Map, what you'll be, uh, initially you'll have maybe one or two of these open. So you'll want to use the up-down button. Uh, try not to let the graph on the right-hand side confuse you. You can't make, you can't go left or right on the analog to navigate you need to go up and down uh, that's just for ease of use so let's go ahead and start with something easy uh, what you'll want to do is if you look at uh, the securing routes you can go into a ship battle and it'll show you this screen now in some cases if your ship is good enough uh, on the actual route here it'll say you can complete it hundred percent like so um, but if you want to acquire goods that you can use for trading, you will have to go into ship battles. So the way that works is this. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, exit here. So let's uh, all right. Let's go. Let's go for a fairly difficult one. Let's see. Uh, all right. Let's go here. We have missions. There are seven total missions, and there are three that are available. So that's good. Uh, the route is dangerous, so we can spend 38 gem from our 266 as you see there in the top right hand corner and go ahead and select the ship that you want so the first ship will always receive a speed bonus okay so if you got uh, for example uh, a man of war that you kinda just wanna make go faster you can give it that speed bonus the second one will be a firepower bonus now I always equip a man of war there whatever it is you have in your fleet at the time that deals a lot of damage I would recommend you put it there uh, now it already says odds of success a hundred percent so that's not bad I can probably probably go with just one man of war and be okay but for the sake of just getting things done real quick I will go ahead and use two uh, and we go ahead and launch the battle and you'll see this screen here and you see there's a fire barrel now you can use that fire barrel anytime you want but because I am outclassing these little ships I'm not gonna worry about it now at this point, you kind of, the AI just sort of takes control and you'll see the little indicator there at the target charging up and they'll, they'll play out a whole battle for you. Now there's no way I would lose against these two. Two mana wars versus a schooner and a frigate is, is easy peasy. So once you're victorious, like so, you will be awarded with a few gems which you know you can use to recover, uh, repair your ship and some other trade goods. So that's great. So now I can go ahead at this point and continue another ship battle. So I'll go ahead and show that to you guys. Uh, I'll just use the same ships. It shouldn't take too long. 
I'll let them go ahead and do what it is. Whatever it is they need to do. Uh, sometimes they'll miss. Um, I've yet to lose one of these, so if I do happen to lose it on this video, it must be a good omen. <laughs> no, that didn't do anything. Yep, no. Obviously the gunboat and the schooner shoots a lot faster. But they do peas damage. But that should take care of the gunboat, and as soon as my Princess Gatley is done, it'll probably take care of the schooner. Alright, so we have that taken care of. So what you're going to want to do, so we got some pretty good trade goods, and the route is now safe. So chances are any ship will be able to complete this mission. So what you want to do is go ahead and hit A, I guess, for if you're on Xbox. That'll bring you to the next screen, which are the available uh, routes within that particular branch. Now, if there's a... If there's a... Uh, Exclamation mark, that just means it's brand new. I currently have one that is not available yet because I've taken care of it. So you can kind of see there are the rewards at the very bottom right uh, that they have different amounts. So I usually just go for the highest one unless I am not able to. In, in which case, I cannot because I have uh, wine, I guess. I'm guessing that's wine. Uh, as a trade good that I'm not able to trade. So let's look for ones I can trade. So initial time travel. Nope. Uh, yeah, let's take care. Oh, it's not available yet. Okay. So if we do the shop, a popular stop, you'll see on this next screen, uh, odds of success, 100%. Doesn't really matter what ship. The only thing that tends to change here is the new travel time. So if you have a fast ship, you can technically do this a lot faster. Um, let's see. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and I think this is the fastest ship I have. No, I have this one, which is the frigate, by five, sec or five minutes, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and repair it just in case. And you can repair it from that screen. And then I'm going to go ahead and send it out. Now, when you start off, you, you'll only really only have maybe one or two of these open. But as you start to unlock them, they, they just become all available. Um, and sometimes they're just not available, in this case, here, where I don't have enough resources. Or that... Uh, the, that I've already completed them and they are not available yet. So uh, this, I highly recommend taking care of this when you first log into the game. And if you happen to have any that are available as you log out, I would recommend also taking care of it as you log out. That way, uh, while you're away, you will be accruing some money. Uh, and you can check on the ship's progress here. Well, that's it, guys. I hope that was useful information to you all, and I hope that was handy. Uh, what happens then is you uh, exit, and when you come out, when you come back from the game, it'll tell you that your uh, your fleet was successful. And as you see there on the bottom left, I'm at 62,000 real. Uh, I've pretty much almost fully upgraded my ship and and uh, taken care of that. So I do this in between missions. Uh, and I don't really record it because it is a little time consuming. But I do tend to take care of it before and after I log out of the game. So anyway, thank you guys for joining me. If you found this uh, tutorial useful, uh, please stop by and check out the walkthrough that I have for Assassin's Creed. Uh, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Uh, if there's a faster way or a better way, uh, I'd love to hear from you. If uh, this helped you, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much, guys, and I will see you on the very next tutorial.